In this tutorial, we will be walking through the process of retargeting your animation results to your own custom 3D character in Maya. The animation I will be working with today is generated through DeepMotion's Animate 3D cloud service. Animate 3D enables any level of creator to easily access full body motion capture without any suits or hardware. You can upload any single person video and generate an FPX or BVH animation file for that motion within minutes. If you'd like to check it out, just go to deepmotion.com slash animate 3D to learn more and sign up. The link will also be in the description. All right, now onto the walkthrough. Our first step is to import our animation. I'm importing my animation from the animation package that I downloaded through the Animate 3D portal. The zip folder will contain several FBX files. In this folder, we will be using the file with the T-Pose. Once imported, check to see if the perfect T-Pose is located on the first frame of the animation. This T-Pose is located at the beginning because it will make it easier for us to retarget the animation. Step two is to create a new definition for our animation. To do this, make sure you're on Rigging, then go to Skeleton and select Human IK, and under Create, click on Create Character Definition. Next, let's rename our character. I'm naming mine Dance Animation, but you can choose whatever you like. In step three, we are going to assign our bones to our skeleton. We will need to do this manually by selecting each bone and then going over to the Previewer, right-clicking and selecting Assign Selected Bone. You will need to do this for each bone, so just keep going until you have the full skeleton assigned. Once completed, the status should change to Characterization is Valid. From here, we are going to lock our characterization. Step 4 will be importing your custom 3D character. Go to Import and navigate to your character. Once it loads in, make sure that it's also in a perfect T-pose with no animation attached to it. Next, we'll want to create a new definition for our character. We'll need to see our character's skeleton, so under shading, go to X-ray joints. Select the skeleton's root, then in the side panel, navigate to definition. Click on the plus icon and it will automatically create a new definition. Then, click on the edit icon at the top and we'll rename character. I'm naming mine DM Boy, but again, you can name this whatever you like. Step five is to assign our bones to our new skeleton. Following the same process as step three, we'll manually select each bone and then using the side panel to the right click and assign selected bone. Do this until the full skeleton is assigned and the status changes to characterization is valid. As you can see, I'm experiencing some errors for my custom character. It is telling me that the arms are not parallel to the x-axis and my character is not actually in a perfect t-pose. To fix this, you will have to manually adjust each joint. For my purpose, we will be okay with leaving it this way. It should not cause a huge difference to our results. Every character will have a different t-pose and any potential issues can easily be addressed when we clean up the final result. So let's go ahead and lock our characterization. Step six is to connect our custom character to the animation. To do this, we need to change our character's source to our animation. So use the source dropdown and select your animation. Once set, your character should now be following your animation. Everything looks good, so we can now click on our character setting and select Bake in Bake to Skeleton. And that's it for this walkthrough. So this was a pretty simple process to easily view your animations. And adding Animate 3D enables any level of user to quickly iterate on new projects. If you'd like to try it out, again, just go to deepmotion.com slash animate3d.